Oh my God. Let's see. Ooh -wee. Oh my God. I feel like it's got so much more power. What's up guys and welcome back to another Razer RSF650 upgrade video. Last time we did the, the brakes front and rear brakes. Today I got an upgrade that I've been waiting for a long long time. Finally we get to upgrade it and get brand new lithium ion 48 volt 25 amp hour. So I'm super excited for this upgrade and uh, let's go check out this battery. I ended up going for BTR power. I think they're okay. I hope they're okay. Let's just open this up real quick and let's see what we got here. Trash. Forty-eight volt, twenty-five. That's what it, they wrote on it. I hope they are correct. This is probably the charger. Perfect. Put that to the side. Um, this is the battery itself. And look at this little Anderson connector. That is funny. I have a similar connector on my uh, Stealth Bomber, but much larger. This is uh, this is nice. Put that to the side. Some more packing situation, packing foam, and this is the battery. All right, so it's wrapped around in this stuff. Uh, pretty well protected, I'd say. This is our battery. BTR power lithium ion battery pack, 48 volt, 25 amp hour. As far as size, I'm pretty sure it should fit. It might stick out a little bit. I hope we don't have to get rid of the um, Plastics, I, I, I like them. A lot of the guys removed them, uh, but I dig them. So try to make it work. Let's see what else we got here. Negative charge, negative power, positive charge, positive power. Cool. What is this material? Feels like some sort of carton paper and then wrapped with the uh, very thick um, vinyl type wrap nice cool so I'm gonna get all these plastics out right now I don't want to bore you guys it's just a couple of screws over here on the other side and I think there's one on the bottom if I'm not mistaken but uh do that remove everything and I'll be right back all right, so I got the panels out. I want you guys to see how I had it set up before. Uh, everything was pretty, pretty nice. So I'm gonna undo all of my situation, safely of course, and figure out what plug I'm gonna be using, if I'm gonna do these or not. These obviously are better and nicer. So try to figure out how to make it all work real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, sweet. So uh, my controller and all the other situation is disconnected. I put that off to the side so it doesn't interfere with me uh, removing the batteries. All right, cool. So batteries are out. Man, those are heavy. I forgot how heavy they were. This is going to be so much lighter. I'm going to go ahead and weigh those in a little bit and uh, I'll put up the difference on the screen between those old lead acid battery three of which are the original rsf 650 batteries plus one i bought extra and added versus our new battery so that'll be interesting to see the difference and i'm sure i'll feel it on the bike my only thing is this uh kind of confused by this charge plus and charge negative i have to figure that out real quick and uh also this is our old battery plug uh that i do not mind using obviously i know the anderson plug is much better but uh had no problem with this so i may even use that so i don't have to modify my controller okay so i also want to see uh what we got here i want to show you guys uh, in the charger what's going on in here a little manual a little charger uh plug 
and the actual charger. All right, guys, so what I think I'm gonna do is, I, I really dig this XLR uh, connection for the charging port that I already made. Pretty much this charger, where is it? That's the throttle. So this guy right here, charging port. I don't know if it uh, focuses or not, but charging port connects to the charging port right here, which connects to here. So when you plug the power, I guess it just wants to pass through the controller before passing it through the battery. On this battery, they gave us a charge wire and I'm just gonna use the one they gave us. So I'm gonna jerry-rig a situation where this battery connects to this old plug. That way I can use my XLR connection. That should be interesting. I just gotta open it. Also, I, I've noticed there's... You hear that? There's like something inside. I kinda read that is 50-50 mm, this charger anyways. So I'd rather stick to my charger. It's 48 volts anyways. It's a 48 volt battery. I don't think it has to be directly connected to this charging port. As long as the battery side is connected, I think we're good. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So I need to figure out a way to connect either still this plug from right here and plug it onto here. So be able to plug or figure out a different solution but that's one and second is my battery lead over here is super super short i mean i can cut it and mess with it it's just really short so i think same thing with the battery i'm just gonna stick with uh my original connector i mean 48 volts ran through it before i don't see it and look i mean look at it it's as good as new so i don't see why 48 volts wouldn't be able to pass through it again so i'll keep these these connectors for a different project these are nice to have anyways so that's the plan okay cool so i uh just went ahead and uh i cut that charging port i know the cables aren't the same size but uh that's okay so i went ahead and prepared that on my other side on the controller i taped it and made sure it's not gonna touch anything uh, got this one going. Let's get the other charger side, the negative, going. I need to get new strippers. I mean, they still do their job, but they're just kind of old. All right, so we got the negative side going, the positive. I'm going to grab a sleeve real quick. Keep that on there. All right, I'm back. So went ahead and uh, connected the charger port, the one I cut from my controller onto this situation. They're charging, uh, it's called charge plus and charge negative. That will connect directly onto my charging port right here. Now let's get the leads going. That is satisfying. Okay, sweet, pretty straightforward. Fit this guy in there, like so. And you guys need one of these tools. It's like a, I don't know if you can see, it's got that special tooth area right there where this goes in. And we'll give it a nice little smoosh, a nice squeeze. I'll make sure it's not coming out of there. That's perfect. Go ahead and do the second one. One, pretty tight, pretty good. So that's one side. Positive to positive. And we'll give it a squeeze. want that getting out of there now the negative this 
to make sure everything is uh, tight over there, tight over here. Sweet. Uh, I don't want to use my heat gun over here. It stinks up the whole place. I'm going to go and uh, heat shrink these real quick with my heat gun. Uh, and I'll be right back. All right, perfect. So now I got my charge cable hooked up and ready to go to be connected to my uh, original charger. And I got the power cords hooked up nice with these nice connectors over here, weatherproof. Uh, and they're super tight on everything. It's not going anywhere. Back to my original battery connector. So now it's just a matter of fitting the battery back into its location. Hopefully uh, everything will go in nice. Let's see what happens. Okay. That is pretty secure on there. I kind of like that. So now, this is our charger cable. That's back in. That's actually leaving me a lot more room to strap this guy, maybe like this. to be it because then I can hook up throttle to throttle and my electric lock to my electric lock which is the key switch okay now all this stuff can be back in there so now, technically, if I plug the battery, we should be good to go, right? It's either that or a big bang. That's the battery. Okay, that's just a matter of just some zip ties. What's nice is I believe I can bring my, uh, put my plastics back into place, which I like. So let's give it a test. So theoretically, we should have power here. And we do. 53.7. Oh my God. Let's see. Oh my God, I feel like it's got so much more power. Oh my God. I gotta go and try this. Holy crap. That is insane, guys. Insane. Um, all right, I'm gonna strap everything down and make it look pretty. And I'll be right back. All right, so a little zip ties and uh, these straps right here that I freaking love. They are amazing. This thing is like not going anywhere. I'm so excited though. I, I don't even want to wait till the plastics. I'm going to take it out for a spin real quick just to see how it is because it feels zippier. And the battery seems like fairly charged up. So uh gonna take it out for just down the street for a second and i'll come back and charge it up and hopefully my charging situation worked and uh it's gonna be nice i really hope so because so far everything is looking great beautiful uh what else this is the thing i wanted to throw on this is my suron light that i'm not no longer using um kind of looks dope kind of fits the whole situation i'm gonna find a way to mount this up here and uh that will be super beautiful to look into that if not today then next video i'm gonna go for a spin and then 
we'll try charging this guy all right guys so i'm over here about to test it and i already have a smile on my face because wow this looks bad ass man this battery is so crazy just from the like a little bit i was driving let's go and i'll show you guys it's like like i got my bike back so i'm at 53.7 i still haven't charged the battery so i'm not gonna go too crazy but check this out guys All right. oh my god like the takeoff already is insane and it just continues and continues to pick up it is nuts oh my god Yeah, I'm just going faster and faster. It's insane. I don't have my speed app on me. I should probably see that, see how fast we can hit. I should probably, I'll make a new video for that as far as top speed, but man, it's so nimble already. And I can definitely feel the weight difference. When I removed it and took it out of the house, wow, what a big difference in weight already. I'm, I'm feeling like at least 15 to 20 pounds that I saved with this battery. Oh man, so different, so crazy. I got my bike back, it's insane. This battery upgrade and the brakes I did in the last video, if you guys didn't see that, you can check it out. I'll leave a link up there. Wow, it's a completely different bike. It's a brand new bike. And this is the 1800 watt motor. I'm gonna go ahead and turn back. Look at this takeoff. Oh man. This is so much nicer. I'm gonna go back and charge it before I throw the plastics back on, just to make sure that everything's legit. I'll see you guys back at the crib. Wow, that was amazing. Holy crap, guys. What a huge difference between the two batteries. I don't know how I was doing it with these guys this whole time. I have no idea, but it's like a brand new, completely brand new bike. It's more nimble, it's lighter, acceleration is insane on it. So yeah, last thing I want to try is uh, the charger and make sure that I got that down right. Uh, and then I'll be completely happy and I can throw the plastics back on and I'll be pretty much done. As far as the light goes, the Suron light, I still have to figure that out and see which one of these plugs gives me a 12 volt that I can use. Uh, I don't want to just uh, mess things up right now. So I'll do that next time. I kind of want to close this up already and be done for today. So I'm going to throw my plastics back on. But before I do that, I'm going to do a little test on my charger and make sure I hook that up correctly and I'll be right back. All right, move my bike closer to this plug real quick. This is the moment of truth. Let's see if uh, my connection is right and we don't burn anything over here. Should be the same as last time. Let's see what happens. It's charging. And nothing has exploded yet, so I think we're good. This is awesome. I get to use my old charger, which is super quiet. With my connection, my XLR old plug that I got hooked up. I'm loving it. Cool. So that's all I wanted to know. I'm going to unplug it now. And... Uh, I will throw on the plastics on this guy and I'll be finished. All right, that was awesome guys. That was pretty nice. Again, a pretty straightforward uh, upgrade. I kind of got confused in the beginning with the uh, the little charge cable, the negative and, uh, and positive, but we figured it out and it's beautiful. I'm in love with this bike right now. Next thing we got is that front fork, which Hopefully will happen soon. I'm still kind of doing my research about that and seeing which fork I want to go with. And then we'll do the front light and we'll be completely done with her. 
but she's looking beautiful. I love it. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy this type of content, subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment. It really helps out the channel. Appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.